after he cast first in Brandon, I'm just like, I'm finished. I'm, it's, it's a wrap. I'm done. <laughs> like, you know, jig. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another exciting time out with us on Pulse One-on-One -on -one BB Ninja Edition brought to you by Guinness. My name is Rachel M.M. Isaac and joining me here, giving me big vibes, <laughs> is ex-Big Brother Nine Justice and Seven housemate, Big Bella. Hi, guys. Here is Big Bella. How you doing? I'm fine, you. Sound, you sound like the outside world has humbled you. Uh, like it has. With plenty it has. Water. <laughs> it has. It's been like... Really stressful, but really exciting. All right. So if you were to compare the expectations before that you had before you got on the show and the experience in the house, what would you say the differences are? <sighs> the house is actually really hard, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, if I got on the show, I was like, oh, how bad can you be? I'll just, I'll, I'll survive. How bad can you be? But getting to the house is actually really very, very difficult. Like people from different walks of life, mm -hmm. they, have, they have to like, be there, you have to be with them, you have them. to coexist with mm -hmm. them, you have no choice, you have to actually be there. So if you have a disagreement with someone, you can't walk away, where are you walking to? You can't leave, you can't leave the house, you have to still see the person. You might even sit right next to the person while you're having the conversation with the person, so it's actually really hard. Okay, so you were one of the top contenders this season. In fact, the moment you walked in, people just said, oh, okay, who wow. is that girl? And wow. you were also one of the most controversial housemates of the season because of your relationship. Yeah. So now let's talk about the reaction. How much of the fan reaction were you expecting? Before I especially, came out? Yes, especially after Ibuka's question that night. <sighs> after Ibuka's question that night, I'm just like, I'm finished. I'm, it's, it's a wrap. I'm done. <laughs> like, you know, jig. <laughs> It's like everyone was calling me like Bella, Bella, Bella. That means you all want me to leave the house. That means there's no love out there. Like I, I'd rather just leave. I was just like, I had the worst time ever that like that period. Mm. The next day, I couldn't even go for like the morning workouts because I was really down. I was thinking about it. I was crying. I cried all night. Yeah. Uh, I really felt bad. Like it's actually the best, the best thing to do in that house is not to know what's going on outside because once you know what's going on outside, everything changes for you. So hearing my name like that, I'm, I'm just like, no one loves me. But coming out here and seeing like the love, I'm just yeah. like, what, what? I don't, I can't, so I don't what happened? know what, what yes. happened, like yes. what changed? All right, so the week that you spent away from Shags, of okay. course, yeah, I know you're like, okay, so we're not going to go there. <laughs> but the week that you spent away from him when he was evicted, we okay. saw a different side, we saw yeah. a different Bella. And a lot of people are saying that maybe he distracted you from the game. Would you agree that there was some kind of distraction when he was in the house with you? I mean, like being in the house, you don't see it that way because that's your house, that's your home, and that's your best friend. Mm -hmm. So like outside world, like it will still be the same. Just that like there are no cameras, I'm not in a confined space. But inside there, like, okay, I always be him because it's a confined space. So where else will I, will I be? But I understand what like people are saying, like yeah. everyone's opinion is valid and I respect that. But um, the last week, yeah, he wasn't there. So I had to blend in, I had to, make friends and I really love the fact that I was alone the last week because I got to know people I, di I, w I didn't know like yeah there's some friendships ago. that were made I yes. remember the dinner and mm -hmm. you know you guys I appreciate your thoughts the friendships and, it was and just, they're still ongoing yes it was just beautiful yeah. so at some point you said that you did not mind not winning the 100 million naira prize wow I can't yeah, believe so I this said was, that yeah you yeah at some point you were like you That's know crazy. what it's not it's not about the money no, there's a way you said it I don't want to misquote you right now okay. but you kind of implied that it wasn't just about it wasn't really about the money do you understand I know that the game plan in the beginning was I'm here for the money and the hundred. I remember you saying it's a hundred million naira. I'm oh, here to win. Yes. Very and then true. at some point that changed. So I, I want to know now, was this influenced by the house? Like seeing the housemates and you just getting comfortable and knowing that okay, I win or no win, it will still be for me. I mean like I actually got comfortable, too comfortable I would say. Uh, I lived my reality in there. That was my truth. That yeah. was me. Yeah. There was no fake zone, no strategy, nothing. Mm -hmm. So that was really me. So being in that house is so different. So that statement, I wouldn't make it in a normal day. Like, the money was the goal. I went oh, yeah. in there to win the prize. Oh, yeah. So why would I say something like that? Like, why would I even say something like that? So I can't believe I said that, but it's crazy. It's crazy in there. All right, so looking back now, I'm sure that you've seen some clips, you've heard from family, you've yes, heard from friends, you've gotten feedback from people who love you and people who don't love you. If you were to change anything about your relationships in the house with your fellow housemates, what would you change? Um, I would have been more open-minded to knowing them. I would have actually been more open-minded to getting mm -hmm. to know people. 
I was not open-minded to making friends. I actually like shut that down. Like I actually shut it down even from the stage. I was like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not there to make friends and stuff like that. Didn't make sense. Okay. So get, getting in there, like I saw them as family and as friends. Okay. And so that was that was really nice. So I would have um, been more open-minded. Opened up say, more. Yeah, I would have opened up more. And all. Okay. Yeah. So did you have like a favorite moment in the house? Yes, I, I actually do have a lot of favorite moments. Okay, so can you tell us your top five? Like the tags, um, pool parties, Saturday night party. Um, diary sessions. Diary sessions. <laughs> that was like therapy. Yeah. You can speak your mind mm -hmm. and not be judged. And, um, and the friends I made in the house, like okay. the friendships, the bonds, yeah. And least favorite moments? Um, do you have any? Waking up as early as we woke up. What time do we even wake up in that house? Very early. Because sometimes early, right? I'm up and you guys are, I'm like, okay, yeah. they don't wake up already. I'm not a morning person, so that really like disturbs me. So waking up like as early as that, like, mm -mm. Okay. that was like, my least favorite, I think. Alrighty, so we'll go to a segment called Fan Zone. On this segment, okay. we have like questions from your fans okay. and you expect us to give answers to this question. So let us do this. Yeah, so Let's go. the first question is from a Twitter user, Janet. And the question is, ask her if she plans to explore acting because she's good at it. Even wow. Biggie praised her. <laughs> yes, I was so excited like when Biggie called my name. I'm just like, I have never like really liked that field. Oh. My brother is actually into yeah. it and I never wanted to like, get into it. I was never into that. But like now, yes, I'm actually ready. I'm ready to like grace your screens. Alrighty, and on Facebook at Ejiro Isaac is asking, yes, please, I would like to know when the Asher B will be out because <laughs> I need to start saving towards it. <laughs> Okay, when I'm ready to get married, I'll invite my fans. Alrighty, okay, and the final question from an IG user at fabluxrestores.ng. Why does she like soft life so much? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who likes sofa? <laughs> I like, who likes sofa? I love soft life. I love the good life. Like, everyone should like the good life. Mm -hmm. Everyone should work hard to get the good life. And that, that should be the goal. Yeah. You know, like, who, who suffer help? I Suffer the pain. Suffer the pain. I tell you, I tell like that's the question. Who suffer I am? All right. It's all about the good life for me. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the so show much. today. So before you go, would like to know the other things I have planned for us. Okay. From Bella to your fans, what oh, should we expect um, from you? Hi guys, it's big Bella here. Rebels, I say the love. Thank you so much for the love. I know I have said thank you so much. One hundred and. Hundred million times, times. <laughs> million times. I've said it so much, but thank you guys so much. Like I'm truly grateful, and I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I have a lot in store for you guys. Don't worry, we're still planning. I just got out. I'm having my media rounds right now, so you guys should just be patient with me and be positive. It's all love and light out, out here. Thank you. All right, thank you so much again for so being a part of the show. I wish you all the best me. going thank forward, you. Bella. Guys, that is how much you can take on today's episode of Pulse One so on One BB Ninja Edition, brought to you by Guinness. My name is Rachel M M Isaac. Do not forget if you have questions, suggestions on how we can serve you better on the show, do let us know in the comment section below. My name is Rachel. M. I think I've been hanging out with Bella. See you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>